So we all know fletching arrows takes time. And what I'm trying to do today for the first time here on camera, because I've not done it before, is to use CA glue accelerator. CA glue is the glue we use to uh, glue on veins or feathers onto our arrows. And I want to speed up the process. I've heard about this and I want to try it. And I'm going to do it on camera and show you all the details and see what I find out and then report to you. You're watching the Jake Minsky YouTube channel. So like I said there, I'm trying to fletch some arrows today. Got an Easton X10 that I'm going to put my wave veins on using the uh, Last Chance Archery Vein Master Pro. And then I have some Easton Axis traditional arrows that I'm going to fletch up with some feathers using a Bitsenberger jig. And I have some CA glue accelerator here and an aerosol can. So, you know, I can just spray it on the arrows themselves. But there's a few precautions that I've read about on the information on this as well as application guides online. So if you're interested in following along, definitely don't skip through this part. So these activators have a solvent in them that carries the actual stuff that speeds up the drying process. One of those could be acetone and the other one could be some sort of essentially butane, hexane, something or other. So do it outside, don't do it in a closed environment in here. I'm gonna go outside and take you out with me and spray it on these arrows. But if you know for a fact that it has acetone in it, take your knocks off. Due to what I know about how acetone interacts with the polymers that are in these knocks, they will crack. If you have any X10s, out knocks, anything like that, uh, pin knocks, they will all get destroyed if you get acetone on them. So pull your knocks off, maybe mask off the pin area, make sure you don't get it there or just don't spray it there. And uh, definitely do it in a well-ventilated environment. In case you're interested in this accelerator, I'll put links in the description below uh, where you can buy it if you're interested. I will also have links to my wave veins, which are shipping now, by the way. And uh, these are them nice and thin, specifically designed for Olympic style recurve. I really love these veins. I've been working on them for a very long time and I'm glad I finally have them. So I'm gonna fletch up some arrows here. And if you're interested in them, you can head to my website, jakekaminski.com. Okay, so with all that being said, let's go outside. I'm gonna pull these knocks off. We're gonna spray the accelerator on and then I'll bring you back here over the bench and we'll see how much of a difference it makes because I'm just tired of waiting for the glue to dry. I got things to do just like everybody else and if I can speed this up, with some very little effort, might as well try it. All right, so we're outside as promised, and I've got this here. This is just some basic accelerator. There's many different options out there. It's just one of the ones that I found on Amazon that I could get here quick enough because I need to fletch some arrows and I just don't have time to wait anymore. My pin knock I pulled off of my X10. I can't get the knock out of this Easton Axis traditional arrow. It's just stuck in there, so I took some uh, blue shop towel and I just wrapped it around the knock to protect it from what this stuff is. Luckily, this doesn't have any acetone, but I just wanted to show you what I'm doing and why you should do it too. This uses uh, hexane and toluidine, I don't know, a bunch of crap to basically uh, carry the stuff in it that speeds up the drying process. So I've already sprayed this and tried this on the cap just to see how it goes. It's very lightweight stuff and I'm upwind of it, so I'm not breathing it. And basically it dries super, super fast, almost instantaneously. And if I spray it here on this cap, just to kind of demo it for you, you'll see that it evaporates quite fast. I don't know if it's totally gone yet. It's just about there. Condensation, it's very high humidity outside, but it's dry. It's totally dry to the touch, with the exception of the evaporation temperature change causing a little bit of condensation forming on it. CA glue dries when it's exposed to moisture in the air specifically. And uh, I live in a high humidity environment, and it still takes quite a bit of time for the arrows to actually dry, or the veins, the glue, whatever, to dry on the arrows. And the way that I'm fletching these, I'm trying to put them on with quite extreme angles. So I'd really like them to just dry fast. So when I pull the clamp off, it doesn't shift the vein at all on the arrow. So this X10, I only need it from here to here because the vein's very short. I'm going to try not to get a ton on the pin location area of the arrow itself and just do the best I can. So, spray it here. And it's like six inches away, quick. 
You're not supposed to hose it down. If you do, you can get all that white dusting on it that you get anyway when you're gluing arrows. So whatever. And it's dry. I can see it's dry. It's a little, uh, little ghosty looking. Again, same kind of thing. There's just a little bit of moisture on it due to the temperature change when it evaporates off. All right, so now I'm gonna make sure that my knocks are covered on this arrow. so I don't have to worry about it. And these ones, these are much longer, they're flu-flus, so I'm gonna spray it from here to here. Looks good enough to me. Hopefully that's enough and not too much. Just in case this paper towel absorbed too much, I'm going to pop it off so it doesn't, you know, cause the knock to crack as I warned. Although, no acetone, so hopefully it'll be okay. So, now that that's done and drying or dried, we'll go back inside. I'll get you set up over the bench and roll the camera and see how fast these glue on. I'm really hopeful that this works and have high hopes because I need more time to do other things. Okay, we're here on the bench. I'm gonna get this knock put back on this X10 and get it in this last chance archery jig. <clears throat> I will have links in the description below for this as well. I know it's pricey, but uh, I really like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that this is set at the correct helical that I want. I'm gonna set it for five degrees. Five degrees, done. Make sure it's aligned. So if anybody out there while I'm doing this has used accelerator before, what did you find and how do you apply it? What type do you use? Do you use the accelerating, do you use the type that you spray on or do you use the type that you brush on? How long before you fletch your arrows do you do it? Do you spray before or do you spray after? Because I know you can do both because the options are to put glue on one side, spray the activator on the other side, let it dry, glued, or Put your glue, glue it, spray on the outside where the glue is exposed and that will ex uh, accelerate it as well. But it seems like that would be a bit messy if I were to do it that way. Plus, I'd have to take my jig outside, ideally, because of, you know, exposure to chemicals. You don't want to breathe that stuff in. So, I don't know. I've just never done it before. So if you have, please comment below. Let me know because I'm very interested to know that. So today I'm using Max Bond uh, and these Wave Pro veins. Yeah, like I said, if you're interested in these, they are available on our website. You should check them out. I am shipping worldwide, although shipping is expensive right now. So there are a few international people carrying these, and hopefully some more will reach out in the future. Just want to make sure that they're going on in the right place, and they are. So normally this takes a considerable amount of time to actually dry to my liking before I'm comfortable with pulling the clamp off, sliding the clamp off. I have high hopes for this. Just making sure I have full contact. It says on the package in two places, press approximately one minute. And then down here it says, after joining the surfaces, press for 12 seconds. It's been about, I don't know how many seconds. I would say it's definitely stuck more and faster. That's a marked improvement if that continues to hold true. I mean, normally if I would have pulled it off that fast, this vein in the front edge would start to lift and come off of the shaft. And I'd still normally have this clamp on there right now until the glue mostly cured because I was just afraid that they would pop off. I like to run a lot of helical, but it was even happening at three degrees of helical on another set of arrows I was fletching up for somebody. So it's so far quite impressive that it's curing as fast as it is, or at least sticking, because I can still see a little bit of wetness. It's not too bad. Zoom in for you so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. I don't know how long that's been, but uh, not very long, and normally I'd say definitely not long enough. And so far, it's definitely, see how it's lifted that back bit? 
I'm gonna put the clamp back on because it's not quite there. Give it a little bit more time. So it's a little bit, it's not quite there yet. Maybe if I sprayed it after the fact, I don't know. Maybe I'm just going too fast. And usually if it starts lifting like this, it's game over, but I have to start over. But I'm hoping that it won't need it this time. All right, that time it worked just a little bit longer. It's, it seems to be stuck and it is definitely drying much faster. Maybe it would be better if I sprayed them right before putting the vein on. Hopefully that would work. So I'm gonna go try that. Actually, I'm gonna get this set up first and quick pop outside and spray this beforehand and see if maybe I just let too much time elapse because I've never done this before and the instructions on the bottle are basically non-existent and plus the stuff that's online, it doesn't, doesn't even say to let it dry, although it dries so fast, so it probably doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take this outside really quick and uh, spray it and let it dry and run right back in and try it, see what happens. Okay. Quick, get the glue on. It maybe was probably no more than 30 seconds from the time I sprayed it to the time I sat down. So less than 45 seconds to get the glue on and the vein touching. And now it's been maybe 15-ish seconds or so. That time it worked excellent. So a little less elapsed time between the application and putting the actual glue on. And I'm satisfied for the most part with how this is fletched. This one vein that lifted has cured very oddly because of uh, having to put the clamp back on. That's why I said normally that's when you have to abort. So if you check it out, they're on. This one here is the funky one as you can see that odd distortion, but the others are on absolutely right the way I like them. And I'm very happy with that. That probably won't affect a whole lot, but uh, I think because how of how this went, I'm going to remove it and put a new one on. Yeah, the base of the vein on this side is lifted relative to this vein, so this, this side towards you. Compared to that, it's stuck down, um, and that's why, because it never really actually stuck. So the verdict so far is that the accelerator does work, but it may not work when it sits for a little bit of time. So I don't know if that's the case and I don't know if anybody else has found that out there. Please do comment below. Let us all know because I want to find a solution to this problem that I have always had of not having patience when it comes to fletching arrows. You can't buy patience at a store, but you can buy this accelerator. So let's... all right, now we got some left wing feathers. They're the big ones, the big guys. And I wanna make sure this clamp's set up because I did, I think, adjust it for a different set of arrows. So if you're learning how to set up this fletching jig, the Bits and Burger, like I do, I'll have links in the description below and a card at the top up there for a video on how I set my jig up. All right, so it's been a while. I'm just gonna go right for it and see, even though it's been several minutes now since I put the activator on. We'll do one and see how it goes, and then potentially I will then spray it again and see if it speeds up the process any.
Well, it's stuck. It's not as fast as I would hope. So I'm gonna take this out, spray this, come back in, and uh, and see what happens. Maybe maybe it needs to be done much uh, faster. Must you know in rapid six? I don't know. Maybe it needs to just be done faster. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll be right back. I should have had this clamped up and ready to go, but that's all right. Still faster than what it's been. Now I have tried using double-sided tape instead of glue on feathers. Not convinced. I like it. So I'm still sticking with the glue. Although well, time will tell because I'll test the feathers with the double-sided tape and see what happens. I mean, it definitely dries faster. I'm impressed because normally this would be a little tacky and they're dry. No white residue on that one. No white residue on this one yet. Yeah, that uh, doing it in shorter periods of time seems to help a lot. And so this last one, I'm gonna set up and make sure it's ready. And what I'm gonna do is because this jig's relatively easy to run, I'm gonna take the glue and the accelerant. I'm gonna take you outside as well, put the clamp on, glue it, spray the accelerant on just really quick and see if it speeds things up that way and see if that's a solution. Again. All right, so I'm outside. <clears throat> I've got everything going here. It is drizzling, so I have to speed things up. Get my glue on my clamp, on my feather quill. Get it on the jig. Press it down. And now I'm gonna lightly spray this. I can actually see the glue drying and like crystallizing and it's genuinely glued on. There is no white ghosting, no nothing. And that arrow is ready to shoot. Well, once I burn the feathers because this thing would fall out of the sky. I am genuinely impressed by the accelerant after the fact. It dries very quick. Um, before the fact, it seems to not work as well. I think you must have to put it on in some sort of rapid succession after spraying it on. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure, but it seems, seems to make a difference. So please, like I said, genuinely, I'm curious and need help. Comment below, let me know how you do it and how you've done it successfully, and even some precautions. I miss out on some things. And, you know, I definitely forget to follow directions, especially if they're not really in very plain English. But this is impressive. It dramatically speeds up the fletching time. It reduces the fletching time and speeds up the whole thing. I don't know if this has affected the feathers or not. It looks like it might be affecting them slightly on the backside towards the center. It's like got this weird sheen to it that wasn't there before. It's very odd to me. So maybe it's affecting it and it needs to evaporate. It doesn't feel wet and doesn't really look wet. Overall, I'm very happy with this test. It has dramatically sped up the fletching time or reduced it and just made it a little bit more enjoyable for me because I can just get through it faster. Let me know what you thought of this video as well. I've not done some experiments on the channel on my own without having any idea as to what I'm doing and or what the outcome would be. So I'm, I'd be curious to know what you think as well. And if you are interested in the Wave Pros, do head to my website, jakekaminski.com, and check those out and grab them, or at the three different places they are currently available or soon to be available in a few different places around the world. And like I said, if you are interested or you know a shop that might be interested, let them know that I have no minimums when it comes to ordering wholesale 
and I would love for them to carry the veins and support local places because that's important to me. I understand that's how archery grows and I understand that that is where I started as well at the local shop. So I want to support them because that's important to me. Thank <laughs> you.